Wow. Wow. This phone is dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a hair video because you guys have been asking. Okay, I'm joking. Some people have been asking though um, what I do to my hair and um, how I keep it healthy and looking nice and you know <laughs> just just how I how I keep my hair especially because I, it's not like I have like 2A type or something I'm looking this by the way so I washed my hair like a couple and like an hour ago that's shrinkage guys wow look at that anyway I washed my hair um, some time ago and I just let it air dry because I don't use blow dryers so that's first thing I don't use blow dryers or um, straighteners or anything the last time that I remember using a blow dryer was like four years ago so yeah I don't use blow dryers that's the first thing um, and so that's how I think I managed to keep my hair healthier because there is um, a lot of heat damage risk that that comes with using blow dryers I mean sure there's heat damage protectors that you can use and you can use coconut oil apparently but I prefer not to and I just prefer to let it air dry and I've just become more comfortable with it in the beginning obviously I was like yo my hair is taking so long to dry or whatever but you know you just you can just wash your hair and then just let it live its life you know and then come back later when it's a bit dryish so it's a little bit drier now it's a little bit dry and um, I'm, I'm now going to um, um, put in some deep conditioner because you know we have to keep our hair conditioned and nice and you know <laughs> so um what i washed it with is this i don't usually wash it with this but i had this because it's cheap <laughs> and yeah it's a two-in-one um, organic aloe vera shampoo and conditioner and even if i wasn't using the shampoo and conditioner and i was using shampoo alone and then I was using conditioner later on. I'll still put in deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner, because I always use that. I just think it works really well with my hair. And this is the leave-in conditioner that I use, Kantu leave-in conditioner. And I mixed it in with some of this oil, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I mixed it in with this oil just to give it more nutrients and so that my hair, I won't, I won't have to put oil in my hair after that. I think it, I find it much easier. Look how much, look how little I put in it's basically still for this come to um, leave-in conditioner repair cream which really helps to put back the moisture that I know for sure this shampoo definitely takes out because it does have sulfur I think it's called sulfur right sulfate sulfate it has sulfate in it and the sulfate makes <laughs> sulfur it makes it um, be very drying for the hair because that's how it removes the in, in the process of washing your hair you kind of stripping your scalp of its natural oils and that can exacerbate um, skin conditions like dandruff or just make your hair really dry and just not healthy and prone to breakage so putting in even conditioner really helps and putting in the oil as well helps me to put back that to put it big you understand put it back to Fusenda. And then after I wash my hair and rinse it, I also use this moisturizing treatment thing. I really wanted to give it a try. It's an African scalp and hair care. I remember I saw Heads and Shoulders advertising this African thing and I was like, huh. Like if I use this and I go out and I didn't put on perfume, I know I'm fine. That's what you want. You want a two-in-one perfume and <laughs> hair products. It smells really delicious. And for the most part, I think it, it, it does do what it's supposed to do which is what is it supposed to do really fight dandruff and provides moisturization it makes my hair really nice and okay i'm after it for the smell let me just be honest um i don't know if it if it does make my hair softer i would like it does make my hair softer so i guess it does put in moisture and i put in my hair my hairspray my homemade hairspray and it's not this it's 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 i'm just using the bottle because i'm gonna buy another bottle and also reduce reuse and recycle so, um, it has black castor oil. <sighs> Hello again. Sorry. Um, the stand fell. And by the stand, I mean my teddy bear. I'm using my teddy bear as a stand. I mean, here's the other one. This one didn't make it, but it's fine. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, yeah, I have I have my homemade rice water that I use. Um, I can't believe that I, I, I went, I lived my life without rice water for so long. And it's so beneficial, you know. 
if you want to know why rice water is good for you, then I'll just put the information right there. Anyway, so this has rice water, brown rice water, because I made brown rice the other day, and I had water, so I'm going to quite throw it away when I can just put it in my hair. And I put in some of this black um, Jamaican castor oil in it. And then, just ensure that it's evenly distributed, although I will spray more eventually, after when I'm doing the twists, which is something that I like to do. Spray, 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 spray. Next is time for this. I haven't put this in yet. So I'm going to put this in now. Um, just going to show you. See? I don't know if you can see. That's what it looks like. And then sometimes if I'm lazy to do my hair, this is the point where I'll just tie it up into a pony and move on with my life. But no, today, today we're not lazy. Today we're actually going to twist it out. I now like to separate my hair into two sections because it just makes it easier. And also it's motivating when it's in two sections for you to know, okay, I have one more section down to go. I will be very discouraged to learn the morn, right? When it just looks like a whole field. We, oh, we need that line of demarcation, you know? You need it. And the line can or cannot be straight. It's up to you. It's your life. Into a bun. Oh, look at that bun. It's so cute. Oh, and then I break for a while. I have many breaks, really. Like I said, it's your life. The world is your oyster mushroom. Because <laughs> I'm vegan now, so I can't say the world is your oyster. It's not your oyster. It's not yours. Anyway, and then I have my papaya. I'm going to decide if I should give you an interesting fact about papaya. I will anyway. Interesting fact about papaya. It really helps to prepare your stomach for digestion. And it really helps to um, stabilize your gut. It's really good for gut health, let me say. Um, because it has an enzyme called, I think, papain or something like that. Um, you, I'll put the word up there if I'm pronouncing it wrong or if, if, or if I'm not even saying the right word at all. Next thing is daga daga and I'm saying papain. But anyway, and that enzyme really helps to um, 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 improve your gut health in general. And that's why it's really good for you to have papaya as your first thing before you eat anything. Because it, it kind of eases things out for your digestive system really, I think. Yeah, so papaya and i'm really hungry and this is gonna take a while so at least eating papaya will at least help to get things going you know mm. and then this has nothing to do with health oh, i mean it does because lemon juice is good for you but papaya with lemon juice or lime <laughs> it's really good it's really good you should just just try it i separate my hair into a section and then Here's where the comb comes in. See, it's not like I don't use a comb. And I use the wider tooth side because, um, yeah, I don't I don't think combs are, 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 I mean, skinny combs are best for for C hair because of how coily the hair is. And you're most likely going to break it, you know, and I'm not trying to do that. So um, a tip for when you're combing your hair in general is you should try and start from the, from the tips and then work your way down instead of the other way around because if there's a knot then you're most likely going to hurt your scalp and it's very painful when there's a knot in your hair and then you just go Wah! and then woo, woo. just remembered um a little bit of the of the leave-in conditioner and i mostly put it on on my hair i don't really put it on my scalp because my scalp I'm, I'm gonna use oil and i use the oil just to seal the ends you don't want to put oil on your hair before you um wet it and before you work with it you usually use it to seal the ends so if you're if you're gonna spray your hair for example rather spray it first and then put the oil in later because it's gonna seal it in and seal in the moisture and if you oil your hair first it'll be hard for the moisture or whatever to penetrate through the shafts of your hair so there there we go isn't that cute it's so pretty you know i'm gonna do that until i'm done with this whole head and and usually because this is a very lengthy process i watch Gomorrah. Luckily for me, I downloaded a couple of episodes of Gomorrah that I'm gonna watch while I sit here in the 
Dua rekara dulu main Kemora <laughs> Mediterranean pasta salad that I made. Um, well, it wasn't a salad, I made it warm. But the good thing is that you can have it as a pasta salad. I just added some cucumber and some more cherry tomatoes on top with some with some balsamic vinegar and some lemon just to give it a nice um more sour flavour. And it's it's really yummy. It's really yummy. You can have it as a pasta salad, you can have it warm. I'm having it as a warm pasta salad because I warmed it up. And also have the potatoes in here as well, because why not? And yeah, I'm going to eat so I like to do this. I'm done! Hmm? Sometimes I leave it like this and I just put on my my headband and I just leave it to do its thing but I don't like to do that because um I just like the jams yeah and now I'm just gonna spray it with nice water for the last time just how and then oh it lets my hair out I hate when this happens <laughs> but it's easier to just tie up and the nice thing about this is that you can easily wash them usually i just wash them like this while they're in still in these and it's a nice protective hairstyle to keep you can style it anywhere you like i usually sometimes would add my hair extension to it to make it fuller if i want you know um and i just think it's easier to keep my hair like this it's out of my face it's already done if i want to wash it i can wash it if i want to have an afro i know i'll have a beautiful afro and there we have it I'm done with my hair. Um, I just tied it up into a small little bun. And thank you for watching. Uh, if you get any inspiration from this to take care of your hair naturally, just know it's not it's not that hard. It's very simple, really. And it's all about what's good for your hair. You might need much less moisturizer than I use, or much more. And also, like, be patient with yourself. You'll get there eventually to know exactly what works for your hair and what doesn't. I know it took a while for me. And yeah, that's. All I do, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for watching.